Hello everyone, I'm Rob Goodwin of YourBostonSports.com at the World Series Club of Greater Hartford tonight in New Britain, Connecticut at the VFW and joining me is John Korn. Good evening everybody. How are you, it's sir? Almost, almost opening day. What? Almost opening day. Two weeks away? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're in New Britain, Connecticut. Tonight's guest at the World Series Club is Al Oliver, former Pittsburgh Pirate, Texas Ranger, and Montreal Expo. One of the great teams. 1971 Pittsburgh Pirates. Willie Sargio, Roberto Clemente, Al Oliver, uh, Manny Sanguian, yeah. Bob Robertson, uh, the manager, man, uh, the, the ma uh, manager. He was still he was still managing then. Um, uh, I forget. I his forget name. too. Yeah. And you know, this uh, is the third time that Al Oliver has been booked here. He canceled twice, unfortunately. First time due to COVID. Second time his flights all got canceled. But thank goodness we're going to see him tonight. Which Danny Murtaugh. Danny Murtaugh. Danny Murtaugh was still managing that. And yep. remember, he played with uh, Roberto Clemente, which is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. You know, so that should be pretty exciting. And, and the Red Sox made a big splash with Trevor Story last this this week. Yep. So they have a second base. They got one heck of an infield now. They do. They do. And um, you know, Devers is obviously a perennial MVP candidate. And then Bogarts, who will not move from shortstop, which I don't blame him. I don't you. blame him, no. He, no. He, his range has not decreased. Yeah. Of course, I don't look at statistically, but I don't see him missing a lot of balls compared to two, three years ago. Right? If it ever decreases, you put him a third and have Devers DH or something. Yeah, you know, exactly. exactly. Yeah. No, and, no. Uh, we, we're going to step back a little here because um, Brian Brady's joining us. I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to my microphone because I don't want Brian to take it away from me. Oh, How are you, Ty? Hey, good morning, everybody. <laughs> I'm glad I have all my faculties about myself. <laughs> so we're going into baseball season, and they're, they're opening the doors. They're lucky because I was going to quit it this time. You know? I almost did, too, but did I you, figured you, I'll, you, I'll forgive them. Did you think it would go longer? Did you think it would go longer? I had a strange feeling that they were going to fight it for longer. I, th I thought or, it was, you know, I was surprised it ended as fast as it did. Well, yeah. I mean, you know, you have these 60-game seasons and everything else. I mean, that's not baseball. That's just practice. You know? Anything less than 162, not, not no. you know? No. What do you think of the 12 teams in the playoffs now? 12 teams. I, you know, it's sometimes it really, that kind of thing really doesn't bother me. If they can get into it and play and put it out there, you know, and give them a shot. You know, it's, it's okay with me. It used, to be, it used to mean something to be a division champion, though. No, it doesn't yeah. anymore. No, you're right. It's almost like a tournament. Well, it does yeah. in terms of getting a buy. Yeah. You know, and and plus the the draft lottery, which is going to be this year, yeah. six teams in the draft lottery, so it doesn't pay to lose and try to get try to have the worst record, which is a good thing. There's, there's too many changes happening that for no other reason other than money, or they just want to change it. Like like uh, well, the, the, the 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 four the four pitch intentional walk. There was no reason to do that. Now the, no the same to thing that. too. The same thing too yeah. with. Putting a guy on second base if you're going to go into overtime—that's ridiculous. And I, that, I didn't agree with any of that. Yeah. Well, that that was only they to make it. That, so, though, right? that, yeah, that was only for COVID, so the game they would prevent extra innings oh, as much as possible. Oh, well, yeah, yeah it was just COVID. Yeah. Who, was Dr. Fauci involved with uh, that situation? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. This is not a political show. I forgot. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not a medical show either. <laughs> <laughs> neither is it a medical he. show either. You know, <laughs> you know, Corn, you said, um, you know, 12 teams making the playoffs. You can move that way a little bit. 12 teams making the playoffs is ridiculous. It's a long season, and then you've got, you know, 11. We got to win 11 times. But what was brought up on MLB Network by Harold Baines and, and others was that, you know, if you, if you have 12 teams, more teams from geographic areas are going to be in it, and the fans will be more interested. There's too many places or areas of the country where the fans are not interested because by July or middle of July, they're out of it. Yeah, that's so true. More, so more fans will be engaged with the more teams making the playoffs. Well, that's a that's a, good, a good thought. That's a good idea. Now I um, that's true. However, you know the funny thing is it used to be the October madness, or if you want to call it that, and October is now going into November. You know, and uh, it, so it's there's snow on the field and you know everything else. So. The only I, problem with a long playoff season in baseball is it's got a different nature than football and basketball. 162 yeah. games. You're, you're in August before you even know who the best teams are. Yeah, that's true. And then yeah. you win 105 games, and then you got to prove to a then you got to prove to a, a second place team that you're good enough to advance in the playoffs. I, I, that's not. I don't know. It's not fair. <laughs> so, you know what? There's one other casualty to the 12-team uh, playoff season playoff. 
12 teams making the playoffs. You know what that is? There will be no game 163 tiebreaker. That's, mm. that's a thing of the past. It's all, mm. all by mathematical tiebreakers. Mm -hmm. I mean, so, so what, it, what is... What is is it where they play one game and that's it? You're 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 dead for the rest of your season because you lost. Are there four second wild card yeah, teams? Yeah, we have four second wild cards. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, it's so be exciting. Really, it really boils down to eight teams again. Really, because after the, the, the first wild card, the, the second wild card is only and one they, game. They blow it out. It's like, well, it's one yeah, day. So it's you just know? really so, you know. I mean, you're getting your hopes up if your team is yeah. one of the wild cards, yeah. and then you're really ticked off because they didn't make it. You know. Yeah, that's true. So it's and it. I'll, I'll be the first to admit it, it does make it more exciting. Absolutely. I'll never does. forget the Cardinals. They were in third place in, on Labor Day. They made this surge and they ended up in the second wild card. They won the World Series, one of the yeah, most exciting yeah. World Series yeah. ever played. Well, the Cardinals are I mean, always I play good. I, I, can't, I, I can't deny that it's more exciting, but it, you know, it kind of takes away from the 162 a yeah. little bit, doesn't it? Yeah. It you know? does, a, a little bit. Yeah. But I think the incentives for them for teams not to tank. And yeah. more, teams, more teams will be in it at the end. But you're making a point that's, about that's true. That's a good point. You're making a point about 162. The first and good yet, point you ever had. Baseball traditionally is a game of numbers, and Babe Ruth played 154 games in yeah. his years. So he was denied those extra. How many extra seasons did he play, and how many how many games are we talking like? There's, there's a whole eight, eight season extra, in there. Yeah, I mean a whole nother season. How many hits would he have in, in that 60 season? Sixty games in 60? ten years. You're right. You're right. Yeah. It's really, it, it just, you know, if you're a numbers guy, which a lot of my life wasn't like that, you know, numbers are numbers. Let's, let's compare it, yeah. you know? And they start altering the game with second base was my one But on the other example. hand, you ever see the movie uh, uh, 61 about Maris and uh, Mantle? I did see it. At I the did. end of the, of the movie, Maris said, Maris told Mantle, he, Mantle missed two weeks of the season on injuries. He had 54 home runs. Oh. And Mantle said to Mantle, allegedly, yeah. Bullshit. You did it. You did it. You you got 61. Yeah. I didn't. That's, that's, right. that's the end of the story. So, yeah. you know, I mean, you can look at it that way, too. Yeah. You know, true, true. Maris took a, you know, a lot of people, because he hit 61, they were, he did, they not, get, he did not get the recognition that he deserved for well, any think of about that. it. The, the yeah. second most popular Yankee of all time is going after the most popular Yankee of all time. Yeah. You know, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, and and, and Maris ends up doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that season, boy. Mm. It was something else. Not that you guys were around at the time, but you know. I was three years old. I don't remember it. I was three years old. I wasn't three years old. Yeah, you were, You're you three were years old now. Mere thought in your father. <laughs> uh, so, Chris Sale, I'm injured again. That's uh, rib cage or something? Yeah. You know. I was hoping you'd have a full spring training because, you know, as much as they brought him along last year and got him ready and got him ready in Worcester. You know, and didn't and didn't rush it. Made sure he was healthy. He really did not pitch that well last year, in my opinion. It, it reminds me, and, and I like Chris Sale. I like Pedork Pedroia. I mean, they they tried to bring that guy along. I think for three years, and he played nine games or something like that. It's like, hey, buddy, I'm sorry. You know, you, you get hurt, you get hurt bad. And the way he got hurt really ticked me off. Let me tell you that. Absolutely, Manny Machado. Oh boy, they're gonna make the bases. Bigger, or they have the option to make the bases bigger in baseball. Machado will step on, still step on the first baseman's foot oh, yeah. when he goes by. You'll oh, yeah. see mine in front of him so that you know you can get you beforehand. So I don't know. Well, I don't know. The, 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 the team. So they're making some announcements about the food tonight, which is very important. And also tonight at the World Series Club is the Grand Slam raffle. That's exciting. There are a lot of prizes. I'm not sure if any of our viewers have purchased tickets, but that's being announced tonight. So uh, I think we're going to end the show now because the food lineup is beginning. So I want to thank everyone for watching. This is on tape delay. We are here at the World Series Club in the Britain, Connecticut at the VFW. It is uh, March 22nd, Tuesday night. So this is on tape delay, but I want to thank everyone for watching. Check out yourbostonsports.com and our Facebook page, Your Boston Sports, and the Red Sox Winter Weekend Facebook group. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Have a great evening. Thanks, Brian. Thanks, John.